Hey, Dan, you couldn't tell sort of Becky him outside, could you? Yes, mate. Hello. Once, I said. Two rings, but only once. Royal had this off, mate, and I didn't come out because he's dead busy, all right? <sighs> OK. Mm. Nurse or aerostats? Nurse. Why? Well, an house has to be away all the time, and a nurse, a nurse can look after you. She'd be forever finding stuff wrong with you, more like, or looking for it. What stuff? Yeah, all right, then. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> OK. A nurse or a cook, then? Depends what cook. Mm, proper cook, I mean. Not a poxy waitress or out in a cruddy cafe. No, I mean, um, chef. Yeah. Nurse or chef. Sure, sure, go. A mm. policeman or a fireman? Mm. Dead easy fireman every time, me and coppers. Let's even go there, pal. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, a fireman pick you up and drag you off to bed. All right, a fireman or... Or what, Jay? Or... Becky! Mm. Oh. Or that. Three minutes out of time, Mr. Capello! Three minutes! <laughs> oh no, the electrics are down! <laughs> I shall be forced to recalculate your hours worked. What? You taught me wages? Oh, blame it out, Royston! Yeah. Right. Back to the grind, I'll get these. What, cos I'm a charity case? No. Oh, if it makes you feel any better, I'm doing my own head in and all. Oh. I just like that we used to imagine our future, you know, thinking about what we were going to do. Well, imagining costs an out, darling. Come on, let's imagine oh, now. Oh, what's the point now? Can we just pay for those, Becky? In fact, mm. there you go. Keep the change. <gasps> Ta! See you later. Ta-ra! Ta-ra-ra! -ra boom -dee. Thank you and goodbye yeah. will be sufficient. Yeah, that's what I said. Ta. Thanking you kindly, sir, madam. Ta -ra -ra -boom. <laughs> Ta -ra -ra -boom. Everything's Gee. amusing to you, isn't it? Mm, state they've left that table in is not. Next time I'll give her a trough. And the amusement that you and Jason expressed earlier, I think I'd be right in assessing that that was at my expense. There is a thing, Roy, and it is called oversensitivity. Oh, oh, I suppose I was oversensitive about Jason's role in the bat displacement. <laughs> hey, you can't let hope go, can you? Just clinging on. It's you what's bat, Roy. Hanging on to your fave grudge for dear life. Look, trust me, if you let go, you ain't gonna drop on your head, Scout's on her. Ah, the secret code. <laughs> you are. You are really losing it. How much? Are you? Ah, I'm fully aware that you and Becky view me as a stubborn, unreasonable bearer of grudges with no insight into the lives of young people. But perhaps I am. But, and I'm not a religious man, so I borrow the story merely for its allegorical relevance. I think you should look to the plank in your own eye before you criticise the speck in mine. Hey, You are a married man! from a generation that seems simply to shrug off vows and promises in the face of any difficulties and then select the next target for their affections. Well, let me suggest to you, you set your sights on someone else. Such so, a love. He's really got it up in today. Congratulations, Roy. You are our one millionth customer. Not really. I wish. I was wondering if you had a spare 13 amp fuse. I have an appliance refusing to perform. Uh, hang on. There. There you go. Get yeah, that hit. 13 amp. Bingo. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I shall replace it. No, don't bother. On the house. It occurs to me that I'm old fashioned. I was a child during the swinging 60s when. It was all happening, but I would be lying if I said I had any sympathy for that generation. All the recklessness they inspired. Becky and Jason. He's a married man. Well, separated technically. Married, legally. Oh, it's 
no secret that I feel a certain parental responsibility for Becky's emotional well-being. I worry that I'd be failing her if I succumbed to this squalid morality of the age. Well, you know what Paul McCartney said? The 60s is a period in the future. Oh, yes, well, I hope not. Listen, Becky, about tonight. About it. Well, if I'm honest, just fancy a quiet one. Been on the trial all day. Just fancy a nice hot bath, cup of tea, bit of telly in bed. Am I in the bath? Oh, la, 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 la. You are? Are in bed. Well, as I say, I just wanted a quiet one. Oh, that'll make any noise. Well, that'll be a change. All right, then. Just a good club on my own, shall I? Yeah. I might meet a proper man who can handle a day at work and a night on the pop. And hopefully, hopefully, he won't live with his mummy. No offence, Ali. None taken, it's a fact. Well, who'd you live with, eh? A garden angel in Anorak? He cares. Forget it, then. Forget what? I do like her. I'm considering lifting the Jason ban. That ban stands. Are you all right? It's a question I constantly hear myself asking. I'm going to have a cup of tea, watch a bit of telly, and have a nice hot bath, OK. I, I felt, on reflection, my attitude was somewhat backdated, consequently. Jason's ban stands. What did you do? You try <laughs> By the way, Becky, I won't be in tonight. What's her name? It gets very wearing, don't you find? What's that? The compulsion of some people to respond to every comment with a joke. Is that me getting my knuckles right then? Do you think I am capable of infidelity? No. Then why the joke? Is it nerves? Oh, lighten up, Roy. I should have wrote me gob. A straight answer to a straight question. Yes, yes, all right. We get the point. Where are you going then, or is it none of my business? It is no secret. I just doubt that you will be interested. No. Nope. Come on. All right. I'm going to an evening. Have amateur footage of Gresley A4 Pacifics. Come again? They're steam locomotives. Right. It's one of my big regrets that I never saw an A4 before they were taken out of service. I, I've, I've seen them restored, of course, but it, it's not the same. Well, it never is. So this evening will be quite exciting. You'll be getting wasted after the show, then. Oh. Do you have any plans for this evening? Uh, apart from drinking my body weight inside it, no. You won't be seeing Jason, then? I told you he's dumped. Yes, Becky, what can I get you? Huh? Oh, um, that's out of our shell. Yep, start me off at night. Hey, big. Hi, hello. Hey, Ben. Can you fetch me a bottle of. Huh. All right, what's up? Right, you know I never, ever ask for anything. Mum. I need tonight off. Forget it. No chance. Michelle's just got back and I'm in need of some serious woman time. It's really, really important. So is my relationship, so no. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for Deirdre. Well, what's up with Deirdre? She's having problems. What kind of problems? Never you mind. Do you know, when a mate needs a favour, I should not have to beg. Michelle's gonna kill me. And so is tomorrow. Not for mugs like me, there isn't. It's just rubbish yesterdays. Does that mean that's a yes? <sighs> oh, thank you. Uh, I'll just get changed. So, what do you fancy doing tonight, then? I have a few ideas already. I don't suppose any of them involve standing behind this bar, do they? <sighs> so who's the lucky winner, then? Hey. Hey, do you know you're useless, you? Couldn't even pick your nose, let alone pick a skank that night. Ooh, all right then, keep your tights on. I'm always trying to help you. I ain't looking for a date, Becky. I'm glad to hear it. Because that would look really desperate. 
You know, if you want to get some, you got to get out there. You get out there? Who's saying I'm not? Are you? So what if I am? You don't play me known, me. <laughs> I'm only messing with you, Jay. Bored of mistake. Well, you know what this means, don't you? What? We're stuck with each other, same again. Come on then, Jay. It's a very simple question. One year from now, what do you want your life to be like? I don't know. Can't be any worse than it is already. Oh, tell me. Oh, you know what I mean. Nothing ever changes, does it? It's just whatever. You're not exactly an optimist, are you, love? Mm. Not if it hasn't happened yet. Well, I have a trick, right? Makes sense of everything. Ask yourself what do you want from life, right? I'm not talking about next year now, I'm talking forever. Can't answer that, can you? So what is the trick then? Ask a different question, love. What don't you want from life? Me, well simple. Don't want three things. I don't want to die alone. I don't want to start liking classical music. And I don't want to do all massively weird, you know, like give birth to an alien or something. <laughs> all rest, you can bring it on. Right, yeah. Yeah, works for everything as well. Like tonight, for instance. Right, tonight, what don't I want? Well, I don't want to sit here drinking cider at £2.20 a pop in this dump when I've got a jumbo bottle back at the gap. Got you. No problem. Oi. I also don't want to drink it on my own. What, you want me to come back to yours? Well, I don't know. What about Roy? Oh, no, he's totally cool, like... Oh, anyway, he's on this, like, mm, train yarn thing tonight. Are you sure about this? Bring it on. Hey, Roy. Hey, love. Jason. Hmm? How did your, uh, your train do, Dargo, then? Well, the, the Gresley A4 footage was excellent. The question and answer was rather less insightful than I would have liked. Bummer. Well, we didn't think you'd be back so early. If you wish, I, I could go for a walk. No, come on, come on, don't be daft. Pull up a view. <laughs> yeah, we've ordered some peas of you, what, not uh, thank you. I availed myself of refreshments at the meeting. Hey, good on you, Royston. Our Roy knows a chance when he sees one. That's why we get on so well. Like peas in a pod, that's us. <laughs> Quite. I'm sorry, but this is too weird, even for me. <clears throat> Are you sure you don't want your pizza, Roy? Uh, thank you. No. High calorific foods tend to disagree with my constitution after a certain hour. I'll get rid then. If you could just use the recycle bag, I'd appreciate it. No worries. Right, I'll uh, leave Jason, you to... Jason, might, might I have a brief word? Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I should apologise in advance for any lack of clarity on my part, but... I find this whole situation rather awkward. I, I should say at first that I, I, I wouldn't... Well, you, you want to know the score with me and Becky? No, no. Well, yes. Well, I mean, ordinarily I would consider this to be beyond the remit of our... Seriously, Roy, I have no idea what's going on. Tonight was just... Whoa. <laughs> well, un unexpected. Totally. I mean, everything just sort of happened. Roy, she made the first move, I swear. Oh, believe me, I, I'm not implying any impropriety on your part, but you, you, you're both consenting adults. I couldn't say no, could, well, I could say no, but... Look, Roy, I really like Becky and that. But it's just hard figuring out where you're at, like. Do you know what I mean? I believe so, yes. Oh, it's complicated. Indeed. Oi, Jay! Where the eggs that box? Right, well, I best get back then, eh? Understand. I knew an arsonist once. Set fire to his bed in hostel. Right. Totally off his rocker mind. Thought his mattress was trying to eat him in the middle of the night. <laughs> hey, come here. 
You should plead insanity. Crack on a voice in your head, but you up to it. Well, there was a voice in my head, and I was mad to listen to her. Okay, then. Well, if she starts on at you again, you just tell her this is a no-smoking establishment. All right. Help me with you. <laughs> Do we? Raise voices. Uh, there's just three lads out here. I think they did that. Oh, heck. Oi! Careful, you not on your feet. Um, come on, Roy, let's, um, let's make you a cup of tea, eh? Come on, Mum. Mr. Bait! You could always give us a hand instead of finding fault. Can. Health and safety would have a fit if the family clearing up glass in my kidney. Uh, Becky, I wonder if you might take over in there for a while. I'll go over with Jerry. Of course, yeah. Hang on. Blimey, Roy, you're keen. You've got an insatiable craving for a morning kebab, have you? Uh, no, I haven't come to purchase anything, I'm afraid. Well, good job all my customers are not like you, then. So what can I do for you? Come with a warning. Government health warning. You're not toxic or anything, are you, Roy? <laughs> uh, nothing like that, no. Uh, there was a fracas in the street earlier. Three young men up to no good. Might be as well to be on your guard. All too right. When was this? Oh, just after seven. Well, thanks for the nod anyway. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah. I'll mention it to our Mel and all. Thank you. Roy, you'll never guess. And lads, what you saw this morning, they've only gone and done a number on Norris. Uh, done a number? Now, when you say that... Robbed him. Empty tilling cabin. Oh, dear. Is he all right? Well, yes, I think so. Same lads that were out here earlier, I imagine. Yep, sounds like it. And what did I do when I found my property was safe? Nothing. Why? Right. Well, your fault. As Edmund Burke said, it is necessary only for good men to do nothing, for evil to triumph. We're closing in five minutes, thank you. Young, the children were afraid of adults. We were. I mean, we were scared of our parents, scared of our teachers, policemen, clergymen, and now, well, it's like the other way round. It's the adults who are frightened of children. Maybe it's just us getting older. No, no, Rita, it's not. The pendulum swung, and but what I want to know is when is it going to swing back? Ah, uh, see. Told you be here drinking to forget. I, uh, uh, yes, Norris. I, I really feel I, I, I ought to apologise. Uh, I saw those louts hanging around outside the cafe this morning, and I, I managed to see them off. But did I think of alerting you to the danger? No, I didn't. For which I now sincerely apologise. But what could anybody have done? I've said that. Nothing. And what amazes me is, I mean, they'll go home, money falling out of their pockets, and, and, and what will the parents say? If they have any. Oh, you think they're from non-parent families? Oh, but we've gone beyond one-parent families, have we? I mean, they're considered the norm, and now we're down to non-parent. Uncared for children just running wild Devouring the old and the sick. Let's get you a drink, eh, Norris. What you on, love? That bitter. So I got a yellow dust. Norris! Norris, how are you? I believe you were a time. Yes. Yes, I was. By, 
one of the new parentless generation. How's your daughter, by the way? I haven't heard you talk about her for quite some time. Now that's enough. Oh, blimey. Oh, excuse me. Come on. We're going home. Uh, yeah, yes, I, uh, I am going home, as it happens. Try not to let it upset you. Oh, nothing upsets me, as, as people will find out. Good night. Uh, uh, I'll try to get him to eat something. You do with that. And if that doesn't work, hit him over the head. Bye. I am sorry about that. I just think it's some sort of delayed reaction. Oh, Rita, we've had worse said to us. <laughs> Can I get anyone a drink? So what do you think? Morning, lover man. Morning. Do you want a coffee? No tap. Couple of hours, I'll have made about two million and drunk half of them. <laughs> no, I'm just, just having a breakfast. Hey. That chocolate body paint. How sexy was that, eh? <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Anyone comes in and asks for hot chocolate today, not being able to keep your face straight. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me, I better wash them sheets before my mum sees them, eh? Yeah, tell her we were having a midnight feast. You won't be lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoops. I best get moving. More then? Oh, I, uh... Are you coming in later? Uh, depends on work. Mm, try. Well, I'll see you tonight, won't I? Yeah? Like, a date? Well, yeah, I was only thinking the pub, like. Pub's fine. <sighs> oh, what am I like? <laughs> Got a brain like a... Chocolate mousse. <laughs> Nearly forgot all the bedding needs washing. Do you want to put your sheets on the landing before you go, love? Hey? No mine are fine, clean. Honest man, they don't need doing. <clears throat> Jay boy, before I forget, you know that chocolate body paint I bought you at Christmas? Yeah. Well, don't ever use it. Hey? Why not? Well, it's just Marcus was telling me this story about a guy at the hospital. His tongue had turned dark brown and isn't that right? It started blistering, didn't it? it Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they had to um, bandage it. Yes, yeah, so um, I chuck it. You know, be on the safe side. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I'll um, oh, I'll see you to my own sheets, ma'am. Got to go. Bill's waiting. Bye, love. Yeah, bye. <laughs> what was that all about? Bandage tongue. That was inspired, seeing as you didn't know. Go on, tell me. <clears throat> Check. Just waiting for Kirk. I know. He's not coming. Bandage your tongue? Are you fell for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a wind-up. Yeah, it's bound to be. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, love. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> what can I get you, Fizzy? Uh, coffee, thanks, Becky, and an ice bun. I need cheering up. Mm. I know love life, them. Um, mm. Like ice buns will help. What do you mean? Kirk's not coming. Oh, he's trying to persuade Chess to go to the school play rehearsal. Oh, I'll go and give him a hand. Uh, no, you keep your nose right out this time. Sorry? You've already got that sympathetic look on your face. Well, it might fool Kirk, but me and Chess, we don't need it. I don't know what you mean. You giving Chess the advice. I'm his sister, right? If he needs help, he comes to me. You and Kirk, you have dates, do all that stuff. But Chesney doesn't need you, OK? Oh, Fizz. I'm sorry. I, I never meant it. Well, you must think I'm a horrible person. No, no. I think that's me. You seem particularly at one with the world. Big night tonight, Royston. Meeting Jason. In the pub. Ah, oh, that constitutes a big night, does it? Date? 
and the voice. <laughs> I'm afraid the, the significance uh, eludes me. Well, never had a fourth date with any fella. Oh, <gasps> I take it Jason is not aware of the significance of this milestone. Goss in! <laughs> well, uh, fourth dates, it might not be quite so meaningful to him. Consequently, if building up your hopes that it might lead somewhere, well, it could be uh, unhealthy. Roy, I can't have a tenth date or an hundredth date without having a fourth date, and, well, for now, I'm... Oh, I'm happy with that, so just... be happy with me, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Hiya. Sorry, mate. Been along. Oh, no, no. Just got here. Traffic mm. was mental. Yeah, come straight from work then. Yeah, I'm gasping for the pint. Well, let me get you one then. Um, pint of lager, please. Right. Yeah, and get us a bitter for Bill. Right. Bill? Yeah, be in a sec, just parking the van. You don't mind, do you? No. It's on his own? Of course not. Um, pint of bitter, please. Hey, any news from Hammond and Clarkson? I'm not interested. No, me neither. You jelly swine. Skill, William, skill. Oh, sorry, I've just got to get this. Steve, where are you? Really, have you won? Oh, you've not won. Uh, is it all right if you take me break? Hi, babe. Ah, oh, have you won? Well done, that's fantastic. Get in. Oh, okay. A large vodka and tonic, please. And the winner of the Weatherfield Grand Prix 2008 is Daniel Mason in the Audi, with Saddle Steve McDonald coming almost two minutes behind. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. It was a lot closer than he's making out. Close. I had three games of backgammon on my mobile while I was waiting. Still, can't expect a cabbie to go the quickest route now, can you? Oh, ouch. Come on, darling, crack open the bubbly then. Oh, well done, babe. I knew you could do it. Thank you. It's yeah. not Ranulph Fines, you know. He's only been to Swinton and back. Oh, come on, let me have my moment and glory here. <laughs> You're not sitting in here gloating all night. Oh, yes, I am, mate. In fact, Lee, can I have a photograph there of the uh, triumphant winner with a consoling arm around the pathetic loser? Get off. <laughs> Going in the back. Do you need directions, mate? <laughs> this year would be nice. Oh, sorry. Hey, I've got him on a rack. Mm. I, I'm not moaning, though, because I like to see you doing a spot of male bonding, but um, I were hoping we could do something on his own tonight. Yeah? Mm, something to... Romantic. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll have this game and go back to mine. We'll get a kebab on the way home, eh? Well, you have to go to Draper Street if you want a kebab. Jerry's is shut. Yeah. It never is. Well, it was about to shut when I went past. Problem with the spit. Typical. Where did she go? Oh. Here you go, babe. Thank you. So, I get there and there's no sign of it. So I'll ring you, and as we're talking, I go up to the shop, and there's a sign pinned to the door. <laughs> and what did it say? Dear loser, gone to the chippy, I'll bring you back a saveloid. Oh, you hate saveloids. He thinks it's funny. I turn around, he's parked up, sat on his bonnet, blowing on a chip. Well, look, it was a daft idea. Just put it out your mind. I've tried, but I can't. I was miles ahead. How's he managed that? His route was quickest, so what? Big deal? No. Either his car has sprouted wings or he's cheated. Come on, Steve. Be gracious in defeat. Let it go. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> hey, thought you'd gone to the yard. No, I've got five minutes, yeah. I was just going to bring this up to you. Oh, Ta! Well, it's no big deal. No, it is to me. I've never had breakfast in bed before. Well, no, I've had a McMuffin in a shop doorway once and I was sleeping rough light, but oh, this is the real thing, Ta. Well, it's just a bit of jam on toast. You can take it back up with you. Yeah, I'll only mess up sheets. Unless you want to mess them up together, like. I've got to go to work, innit? Can't you chuck a sickie? I don't get my days off. I can't. Well, 
you got to stay in bed all day? Cos you won't even be lying. Becky, we're up to our eyes, innit? Oh, I'm sorry. I better get going, actually. Well, hey, hang on, cos I'll chuck some clothes on and I'll walk over with you. So I don't no, worry, no, I can... No, 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 it's no bother, I want to. Look, look, look. I'll even take care of your helmet. Hard hat. <laughs> Whatever. Gilly's not the bus stop. Maybe you should give her a nut, mate. I think you should give her some breathing space. A dad's ill, Chez. You might not be a top priority just now. But it's the play tonight. I hope she's all right. She won't stand you up, mate. The show must go on, and that. Oh, listen to Mr Showbiz. He'll be calling you darling next. Where'd you like, Jam? Yeah, Gail. You are, obviously. Yeah, it is. You got a problem with that. None of my business, love. But in case you've forgotten, uh, Bethany's birthday's coming up. I know. He knows. Good. Then he won't need reminding that the present has to be posted first thing tomorrow or it won't get there in time. That's assuming you've Yeah, of course send. I am. Well, I'm posting mine first thing tomorrow, so... If you want to drop yours off, I suppose I could take it to the post office with me. Oh, thanks. I'll drop it off later. Fine. Sour face mare. What did you expect you to do, spend the rest of your life crying over staring on? It's good of her to post a present, though, eh? What you bought? Nothing yet. Stick a fiver in a card. Fiver? I want to get her a proper present. It's all right. Don't worry. I'll go in town now pick some up. Cheers, Becky, but, you know, I'd like to do it myself. I'll swing the afternoon off a bill. Great. Bring us together, then. You in kids' departments? Hmm. What's funny about that? Well, you're not exactly the mothering type, are you? I could be if I had to. Not that I'm after having brats or out, but I want to spend the day with her, and if that's the only way, then I'll settle for it. I thought kids' toys were all supposed to be high-tech these days. It is! Have you seen the way it pulls faces? Oh, give me a willies. I don't think what that expression is meant to be. It's not win, this smile. Mm, so does he. <laughs> Look, the assistant said it was dead popular. Give it here, will you? Becky, will you wrap this for us? Lent like a Wendy house if I do it. Mm, I'm the better. I'm all fingers and thumbs, me. Give it here. Look, it be you. I live up to my stereotype. I've never been good at stuff women are supposed to be good at. What, you telling me there's not a domestic goddess deep inside you fighting to get out? If there is, she gets chinned every time. Hey, you two better change your ways if you're thinking of having a real one of these. Mm. No chance. Well, not for a few years, any road. And when we do, I'll get him to change nappies. You won't mind, will you, love? <laughs> I'll get the scissors, eh? Right, I'll get back to work. I thought you got the afternoon. I don't need it now. I've got best present. Didn't take as long as I thought. Took long enough. I'd have grabbed what wherever it's sell me. Yeah, well, I cared about her. I miss her and I wanted to know that. Bethany? Yeah, Bethany. I'm still the nearest thing she's got to her dad. Just wish I could do more. It's not your fault you can't. Yeah, we don't change things though, does it, eh? I didn't mean what I said earlier. What? About kids, about making you change nappies, cos... I'd do it. I'd do everything. I could be a good mum, me. Yeah, and <laughs> won't put wool over my eyes, that's for sure. And, yeah, I'd even knock booze on the head while I was having them. Well, it's not something we need to worry about now, though, is it? No, no. <laughs> no, but... If you ever wanted... What, what I'm saying is... I would, for you. With S you. Sorry, um, I've really got to go. Bill needs me. I'll speak in a bit, yeah? Hi, ma'am. Hiya. Just taking Bethany's Prezi out again. I've written it. It's here. I hope she still likes mermaids. <laughs> Put you on the gift so too. Oh, what have you got her? Got one of them super realistic dolls. Took me half a day. 
You know that with me helping and all. Didn't see you now. She's keeping me company. Keeping him with the in-laws, eh? Who? <laughs> Tell you what, rather have your Eileen as a mother-in-law than Saint Gail. Oh, she tries her best. Mm. If I were you, I'd be busy stopping away. What does she want to go post any present for any road? It's called building bridges, Becky. It's called being nosy. Mm. But as soon as your back's turned, she'll rip paper off and have a right good nose. I don't care if she does. <sighs> You'll never be free of that family. We'll see about that. <laughs> <gasps> Cream cake? Yeah, got the last one. <laughs> Hey, well, there's no sign of your Jay. I try to look in scales, but she's got them dead thick nets. Oh, won't be still there. I mean, he's not that much of a masochist, mm. is he? <gasps> nah. Mm. Well, I suppose I better get going. What are you going to do with your day off? Now, I suppose it'd be rovers tonight, but. Yeah, you know, I've got another exciting night in front of the telly. Mm. Well, how come we get your company then? Yeah? Bottle of cider, girly night, do your manicure? Mm. You can call it minute service. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, you owe me ten minutes. Oh, come on, don't start. Yeah, I thought. Ooh, give us a smile, Lord. You know, one of them ones that melts hearts from 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 here to to the bypass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mock. My life is turning to ash and dust, but you just mock. Mm. Tell you what, you're on for tonight. We'll have a really good time. Forget mm. the side up. We'll work our way through my cocktail recipes. <laughs> <laughs> Caught the post. Good. Get there in plenty of time then. I didn't mean anything. It's okay. I shouldn't have said anything about Becky. I'm not looking for another Sarah Gale. I know there isn't one. Well, I'm sorry if you thought I was interfering. It's okay, really. It's no big deal. <laughs> What's she doing here? Come on! Get your shoes off and sit down! Right. I'll do your Becky special, shall I? What's that? Whatever's in the fridge. All fried up together. Ooh, come back, dearly, you're all forgiven. Hey. I'll tell you what. What? what? We'll have to fill up that freezer with no in. It's gonna have to be egg on toast. Mum, she's not staying the night, is she? I don't. No, ask her. <laughs> now, ask me what? Nothing. Mm, I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. What? Well, it's too late to go back and risk waking up my poor old Roy, isn't it? Your luck is in, gorgeous. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll see you later, babe. Say that again. What? What you just said? See you later, babe. <gasps> I'm somebody's babe. <laughs> right, yeah, well, I'll pay you go anyway. Did you go Sarah, babe? Uh, no, I'm sorry, sorry, it's none of my business. <laughs> hey! Less of the smoochie. <laughs> yeah, I've just got to nip over to shop a minute, Bill. Two minutes. All right, mate. Hey, now. You'll be good today. <gasps> mm. Love ya. What? Nothing. I'll speak to you later. Yeah. Cheers. Don't often see you in here, shall? No, I've been a devil. Ah, well, in the right place. I can tell you everything you need to know about sin. 15p change. I'm in a good mood. It's the love of a good man. See ya. See ya. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, morning, Eileen. Again. Morning. <laughs> She seems yes. happy in her work. Yes, she, she's a real asset at the moment. Yeah, uh, just a couple of rounds of toast, please, right? Yeah. Uh, as you know, uh, I did have initial reservations about her and Jason hooking up. Is that correct usage? I've told you, she's tough as old boots. Yes, but th there is also the fact that he was still married. The world's moved on a bit since then, Roy. Yeah, for better or worse. But there is no doubt that he's bringing out the best in her. Dead nice when you get to know her. I was a bit worried at first, to be honest. I mean, jailbird going out with Jason. 
Yes, well, that is where the world could move on, in my opinion, if everyone like Becky was given a second yeah, chance. Yeah, all right, uh, Mr Smug, I'll just um, have the toast when it's ready. Yeah. Now then, boys, mm. just put you on for a few hours. Ooh, you're a treasure. <laughs> and Jason's my little treasure, ain't it? Ain't it? <laughs> Oi! Oi, what time's got all this? Oh, I, I, I do apologise, uh, Roy. Only the paper boy failed to turn up yet again. And I would have brought them round earlier, but Rita's been out of the shop all morning. Folk have been asking after them, you know. Uh, I suppose uh, we could waive the delivery charge under the circumstances. Uh, it's much appreciated, Norris. Hey, hey. I'm loving the contraption, Norris. <laughs> I always thought you were off your trolley. <laughs> now, now I know it. <laughs> Woo. Come on now, love. We've got to feed you up, make you big and strong. Oh, Bill, have you felt these muscles? Do you know they're like, they're like cannonballs. <laughs> Do you want a little feel, Norris? Your wife knows about this extra marital liaison, I take it, Jason? What? I suppose she must do if you're flaunting it like this in public. Hey, leave it to me, Norris. I will put him on jankers this afternoon. Oh, that's right. Make light of it. Well, liver like liver, I say. Too right. You would say that, wouldn't you? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. No, go on. Well, coming from a man who's got a wife on the continent and he's living with somebody else. I think you better watch what you're saying. There's no wrong with what we're doing. That's what they said in Sodom and Gomorrah. We are in love. Tell him, Jason. <laughs> It's all right, doesn't it? What was that all about, then? She's had a go at me. She's right, Roy. He was bang out of order. Well, perhaps you can get back to normal, then. We are quite dizzy. Yep. Thanks for sticking up for me. What? When you had a go at me. There was no point saying anything when he's like that, eh? It only makes him worse. Look, you saw he went for me when I parked up, eh? Yeah, I suppose. The man is a menace. Hiya. What have you been up to? Just done my fabric. Where are you taking this off? Far end of Albert Road. See the world in your job, don't you? Well, Phil's giving me a make I best get moving. Mm. You'll be ready to get wasted tonight, then, if he's got yard at it. Uh, I don't think I'm up to it, if I'm honest, I'm knackered. Mm. And how about a soak in an hot bath, followed by a nice, long massage? I can do them, you know, someone showed me. Actually, Bex, uh, I just want to give it a miss tonight, do you mind? You getting fed up for me? No, I just fancy nearly night, that's all. Well, I don't mind that. I mean, sleep. Mm. You wear me out, Becky. Then resist me. Oh, I can't, can I, Hey. All right, then. You have yourself a night off. Get your strength back up. I'll be ready and waiting tomorrow. All right. Mwah. Come on. Hey! <laughs> See you, lover. Are you in or out tonight? In. Not, not seeing Jason? We both need an early night. Oh. But uh, everything's uh, OK. Everything's brilliant. Ah, well, that's good then. Yeah. Having a night off. Why? Well, I often think that, that couples, they rush into things too quickly. They fall madly in love, or I think they do. Can't bear to be parted. A few weeks later, the whole thing collapses. Well, that, that's not going to happen to us. No, well, a little distance. It, it lets the roots grow deeper. You and Ailey will be rock solid then by the time she gets back. <laughs> yeah, but very good, yes. Right, well, that is me finished. Yeah. Eileen was saying uh, how pleased she is, how things are going with Jason. Really? Yeah, she, she's enjoying getting to know you. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Well, she's not one to mince her words if she, she doesn't like someone, so, uh, well. Clearly, it's a good thing all round. Well, I'm just happy to have a boat that's not a great A pig. <laughs> Cheers. So, uh, 
Did Becky fancy an evening off and all? Not sure. No, in other words. Not going off her, are you? Not going off her. But? Well, she's just taking things a bit fast me, that's all. Slow them down? How? Oh. Talk to her. Tell her that you like her and you're not going to run away and she'll understand. Well, what's that supposed to mean, slow things down? Well, don't see so much of her, you know, for a time anyway. Mum, she said she loved me this morning. No chance of you feeling the same, I don't suppose. Do you like her? Hmm. Yeah, of course I like her. But? I don't know. Well, you, you want to go out with her? Well, yeah, I would if... If what? Well, if she wanted the same thing as me. Which is? Me up now and again, have a bit of a laugh. But she wants more than that. Tell me about it. So what you're saying is you don't want to go out with her, really? Well, Mum, I just can't give her what she wants. Well, you're going to have to talk to her. It'll do, Edin. <laughs> It'll do more than that if you don't. You know how worked up she gets? I mean, she's already head over heels. Yeah, I know. Well, if you don't let her down gently now, someone's going to pay for it later. Big time. So you're going to talk to her? Yeah. Tell her how you feel? Yeah. Today? Mm-hmm. Well, when? What? Well, when are you going to talk to her? I mean, the cafe's open now. Well, I'm eating now. Besides, she's uh, probably busy. Yeah, well, there's coffee time or lunch time or tea time. I mean, I'm sure Bill will give you half an hour off if you ask nicely. Mum, I'll talk to her. Good. Today. Find some lunch in the Rovers, Bill. Aren't you expected at the cafe? Yeah, but, well... Well, I thought you were keen on Becca. Not half as keen as she is on me. Ooh, fighting her off with a stick, are you? Don't know, I like her, but, you know, she's just a bit full on, that's all. Well, tell her to back off a bit. That's what my mum says. Why are you talking about this stuff to your mum? Well, no, she talks and I listen. Well, I'd say she's right. When it comes to relationships, honesty is the best policy. Unless you're cheating on her, in which case, dishonesty is the best policy. Well, I'm not cheating on her. Oh, no, that's right. It's Sarah you're cheating on, isn't it? I'm sorry, I forgot. I'll just tell her we've got to cool things down, yeah? Be honest with her. Cheers, Bill. Appreciate your support. Have you spoken to her? That's what I'm waiting here for. But she's on a break. You promise. Oh, it's your lucky day. Hey, can I talk to my boyfriend for five minutes, please? I know it's lunchtime, but... Two minutes. We can manage. <laughs> I try not to encourage her. The young love needs no encouragement. Ah, oh, yeah? <laughs> so you sneaking? I didn't sneak in here. You weren't here? Yeah, no, I wrote the same. Oh, well, your pie's steak and kidney. Oh, lovely. Yeah, gorgeous, aren't they? What are you going to have? Uh, I'll just have egg and chips. Becky, can we talk? Yeah, make it quick, though. Don't mind me. What are you trying to talk about? Hang on. Are you going to chuck me? Is he going to chuck me? No. Why? What made you think that? Well, the look on your face, for starters. You look like thunder and lightning on this way. No, what it is is... Um... Have I done something wrong? No. I I'm coming on too strong or something. Jay, please, tell me what I've done. You? You haven't done anything. What's face for? I don't know. You know, working that, it's probably Bill getting on at me. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> No. No, you, you wanted to talk, so... What do you want to talk about? Um, I just wanted to check that you wouldn't get in any trouble about for talking to us at dinner time. You are so thoughtful. In a great year, lad. Extra crusted on your crumble, lover. You can pay for me pie. Ken? Yep. How long have you and Deja been going out for? Oh, well, a bit complicated, but uh, well, we've been together mostly for nearly 30 years. That's good going. How about you and Ella? We had our 10th wedding anniversary in May. So both your lads have been going out with the same birds for years. Now, and here's a £6 million question. What is the secret? 
How do you make it last and not do something stupid and go mucking it all up? Oh, well, I don't think anyone's managed to not do anything stupid at least once in their lives, but uh, it's how you cope with it that matters. Well, there's no secret. You simply find the right person, keep loving them, and then it, it just happens. All right, keep loving them. That is good. Yeah, I've seen people in love tear each other apart. Really? <sighs> yeah, but if you treat your partner with uh, honesty and respect, then you won't go far wrong. I would second that. Respect, eh? Yeah, and that means respecting their ambitions, supporting them in, in, in the things they like to do. And encouragement. Being as sensitive to your differences as you are to the things that you have in common. Yeah. <coughs> now I heard what you said to me, boys. I am going to show Jason how much I care. Respect! Now, I am going to try these on. Sorry, boys, no peeks for you. You stop staring at me. So you're happy to keep things as they are? No, but I don't want to chuck her. Well, what do you want? I just want to slow things down a bit, Mum. What does she want? I've got a plan. Oh, it's good to have a plan. Does it involve telling her how you feel? Not really, no. So you're going to write her a letter? No. Send her a text? No. Transfer your thoughts telepathically. Mum, do you want to listen to me plan or not? Well, I take it it doesn't involve communicating with her in any way. Look, I just want to slow things down a bit, you know, not see her as much, not going to calf. Just play it cool, bit by bit. Oh, so she'll slowly get the message and calm down, and then you can go back to being mates without her really realising it. So what do you think? It's a plan. We've got to work. We can wash up. <sighs> I called last orders ten minutes ago. A bit early, isn't it? Owner's prerogative. What's going on between you and my son? Ask him he started it. I'm not interested in who started it. I want to know who's going to finish it. Well, he scratched my car. If he pays for the repair, then I won't hold a grudge. Well, he's adamant he didn't do it. Well, he's lying. I can usually tell when he's lying. Then tell him to pay the bill. What if he's telling the truth? What if he isn't? What if I pay the bill? Oh, so you do think he's lying? No, but I think someone needs to put a stop to this before it gets out of hand. So you pay the bill and Dan gets away scot-free? Dan doesn't know about it. You give him his phone back, then everything goes back to normal. Yeah, but if Dan doesn't know, then he's going to think that I back down. Is this about a scratched car or a bruised ego? Frankly, both. Your son is a petty, vindictive vandal. Maybe he's like that because you go around clearing up his mistakes, buying him out of trouble. If I were you, I'd let him stand on his own two feet for once. Listen to me, Sunshine. I don't take too kindly to you criticising my parenting skills, but as I'm older and wiser than you, I shall let it pass. However, I offer you one piece of advice. Let this go. Hey, Stevie boy. Any chance for another? No, not tonight. No worries. Oh, I just need a quick chit at Lavi. Don't let me in. Friday night. Yeah, but like I've got this splitting headache now. Oh, poor thing. Do you know what's really good for an headache? <sighs> what? This. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Let's get to work at making you better.
I love it when a plan comes together. Have a nice day at the office, dear. I'm not working, am I? Mm. Lucky. I won't trust you with power tools. Blame yourself if you were so knackered you lopped some at half. <laughs> Well, then. Oh, don't. Do you know, I thought you had more about you. No, actually, that's not true. I just wished you had. She deserves to know where she stands. There you are. I've been all over. He was in the Rovers, wasn't he? Dan. They've just brought him out. I'll kill him. What do you mean, brought him out? Well, to the ambulance. I don't know what's gone off, but they took him off in an ambulance. Uh, Leanne, wait. Whoa, come on. Whoa, whoa. Oi, hang on, Bill. Oh, come on, it's an emergency. It will be in a minute. All right, I'll pay for it. How much? Five quid. Twenty. Ten. Jay! What are you doing later? Uh, I've got to go to Gales. Gales? See David? Because Gales asked if, I'd, you know, just so he knows that people there from now is out. And after? Uh, well, I've got to... Well, my mum said that I don't see her at the moment, so... Gear. Who's think the unky bloke wandering out of bathroom is of the morning? Yeah, so I'm going to spend a bit of time with her, just me and her, cook a bit of tea and that. And after that? Aren't you meant to be at work? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. But you will not escape me for long. All I know is Carla looked like she'd seen a ghost when she dragged Leanna out at calf. Then Norris is in, saying now he's been sent on ahead. I reckon to identify the body. Dan's dead? Who told you that? I didn't see. Well, if he is, the surgeons are wasting the time. Last thing I heard, he was having an op. No, oh, Bango's my theory. <laughs> Becky says that Norris reckons that Steve gave Dan rat poisoning and then sealed him up in the cellar. He's like Agatha Christie on acid is Norris. When you say sealed them up, do you mean lock the door? <laughs> Is that a bit true, then? <laughs> Steve locked them in as a joke. There was no poison. Unless a pack of prawn cocktail counts. Well, it was good goss while it lasted. <laughs> um, I've only come for your keys, I. To what? Your house. I'm not Robbo. Didn't say you would. And I'm not copying him. She's reassuring, isn't she? What do you want them for? Secret. You don't trust me, do you? Well, what do you reckon I'll do? Of course, I trust you. Oh, no, you don't. That poor girl's for the high road when our Jason turns into a decent human being. Honestly, you drum into them how to treat women and then one turns out gay and the other one turns out like his father. What, do you think boys turn into their dads? What do you think? I really thought about it. Jason! Let me kill Becky. Oh, Soz, Soz, I will bring your keys back, but I got distracted with the ingredients. Distracted with your what? I'm cooking. Now, before you say that, I know we said he'll cook, but I thought if you eat his food, his quality mother son time you're after, probably aren't diarrhea ward at general. I'll get off straight after. Does Jason know that you're doing this? Nope. Jot a can. Come on, Bill. Pint's getting warm here. I thought you said Audrey was out. Oh, right. No, no, you do what you gotta do, mate. You shouldn't have a funny mood. You keep your head down. All right, I'll speak to you later, pal. Why don't you and me eat it? It smells lovely. for him. Right. Oh, he answered his phone. That Gail's dragged him in and force fed him. Look, when he does come, I'll uh, I'll leave it to it, eh? It's me on fault. 
Shouldn't have made it a surprise. I was meant to know it's here if it's a surprise, eh? Oi! You organise some sort of hostage swap? You what? They let you out as long as someone's in captivity at your mum's house. You what? Where's Jason? Well, how should I know? Because he was someone to see, wasn't he, by Gail? Yeah, well, he's not been. And I have been in. No? There you are. He's obviously just swerving you. You want a fat lip, jail boy? Jess! Hiya. Hiya. Come here for your mother sometime? Yeah, soz. Cut some scram and save you at bother. You don't mind eating with me first, though, eh? No. Our David? Fine, yeah. Seemed okay. Great. Well, I was giving it all that. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, I was like, get out of this cafe, man, you were having me on! Because <laughs> Norris is like that, isn't he? He's like, yes, and that's not all. Because you know what he's like, the more I think she's loving the ghost, the better the ghost gets. <laughs> So by the end of it, right, he's got Steve, top at cellar steps, smearing rat poison all over his packet of brown cocktail crisps. He's like that. He's like, ha, 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 And Dan, he's just like, Bambi to the slaughter. He's like, eee, brown cocktail crisps, my favourite. <laughs> what? You bonkers, you. Make you laugh, don't I? Yeah. No, but I do. We have a laugh, don't we? Of course. I just you keep remembering that, eh? That's love. Come here, Come here. Okay. Yeah. Roy, will you stop filming yourself? I'm just checking my pedometer's giving an. Accurate readout. Your what? Counts the number of steps I've taken in the day. Oh, yeah, Blanche gave me one of those for Christmas. I think she's got it free in a packet of cereal. Morning, Bill. Morning. A uh, couple of bacon sandwiches, please, take out. Coming up. Hey, where's my chair? Oh, I thought I'd do the butter run today. Change is as good as the rest. Good morning, I'm at road. Hey, Roy. Hey. Here's your walkie thing. I'll go over there myself, count steps. Bet it's, what, 50? Most. Actually, uh, better not. Uh, uh, He's feeling a bit off. Oh, no, that's down to me, isn't it? Cooked his tea last night. Don't tell me I've given him a dicky tummy. That cheese, you know, it did smell a bit like baby's sake. No, no, it's nothing. Uh, he's got some paperwork to catch up on, too. So which is it? Fully or paperwork? A uh, bit of both. That's enough now, Becky. There's no need for an inquisition. Uh, Thomas de Torquemada has got nothing on you. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I might not know as much stuff as you. I am not stupid. You cheeky beggar, getting me doing your dirty work. Becky, asking if I'm poorly. What have you said now? She had me cornered like a rat. You're not dropped me in it, have you? Hey, book of looks. Don't you have a go at me. Why are you still stringing her along? That's what I want to know. You don't know her, Bill. Paperwork! Look, you can't keep putting it off. Giving a false hope, lad, it's not fair. Hiya. Hiya. Ah, I've got a splinter. It hurts like mad. Oh, poor thing. Come to Mummy and I'll kiss it better. Get off. Can't see anything. You can there, look. Oh, you need a microscope. It's that... Tidgy, you daft Nelly. Feels as big as a plank. Well, I'll get some tweezers to it later. Mm. Hey, if that's Becky, tell her I'm not here. Oh, Jason, you're unbelievable. Just tell her. Shh. When are you going to grow a spine? Honestly. Hi, Raleen. Is he in? Uh, no, sorry. He's not, love. Well, I've been trying to get all of him all day. I just... I wonder if... So, um... So where is he, then? Is this a little work? Yeah, yeah, that's it. First pie from something, you know, some kind of emergency. 
When I do see him, I'll tell him he needs to get in touch with you. You hear that? You got a poltergeist. <laughs> Only I know it's not Sean, because I just saw him in chat. Between you and me, love, I think we might have a flaming bigger rat. I can't take it in. I know I'll not take no for an answer. I'll just, I'll back him into a corner and I'll make him say something he probably doesn't even want to say because he's too nice. Bless him. Right. Oh, Michelle doesn't want to know me anymore. I'm all alone. I'm like the Lone Ranger. And you are Tonto, my faithful assistant. Thick white man done heap bad thing, Kimo said. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two on? You got any left? Hey, I want to be the Long Ranger. Why do I always have to be the trusty sidekick? Because some men are born to lead and others to follow. Is it because I is black? <laughs> Madam, I would like to buy this man one of your finest kebabs. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm feeling a bit. If I have a kebab, I might see it sooner than planned. Uh, if you're gonna help, get outside. Oh, oh, I tell you what I want. Toast. Lovely, toasty toast. Well, you come with me then, sunshines. Come on. I'll see you right. Yeah? Come on. Toast and that to soak up the amount of value. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's Michelle. Aww. Does this sound normal? Hi, Michelle, how are you? <laughs> no way, man. You will know you are a rat first. <laughs> Rubbish girl. Mm. Oh, you could drink you under the table any night at week. <laughs> Come on, let me out. Oi, oi. I want to think someone's robbing the place. It's all right. Is that some first day classes? Is it's playing at nursery. <laughs> Bye. Bye, lady. Oi. Come on. Come on, go up to the flat, yeah? Mm. We don't want some pillet knocking on and <laughs> ordering egg and chips, do we? And we don't want you drunk in charge of a chip fan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, could do some help out here. He's not answering. Well, he'll be sulking somewhere. You know him, he can sulk for England. Yeah, I might have been a bit hard on him. Well, he does bring it on himself. I couldn't bear it if he went to prison. What would I do? Well, there's no point torturing yourself. Let's just wait, see what happens. And if, God forbid, the worst does come to the worst, we will find a way to cope with it. I don't know what I've done wrong. I know I can be a bit full on sometimes, so, you know, I, I tried to play it a bit cool like. Cool, yeah. Well, I'm not some mad. Bunny boiler, Rob. No, because that would be terrible. Because what's that little bunny ever done to you? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, mm. you're a bloke. Not just a bloke, a real male. Come on. Come on, you can tell me, and I promise I won't punch you out. 
What's wrong with me? <laughs> Nothing. Do I give off some sort of vibe? What puts fellas off? You are a very attractive, spirited individual. And you have very, very long legs, like a pony. <laughs> Jason, you don't want to know anymore. Can't, can't work out where I've gone wrong. If Jason is too thick, or stupid to appreciate you, then you gotta bean him off. Because you're too good for him. No. Rubbish. Don't say that, you... If she asks, say I was bladded. I was desperate to get home, but you wouldn't let me in case, um, in case I set the alarm off. Brilliant. What's that beeping? It's time out. You're supposed to keep it brief. Is my shirt in there? How should I know? Lloyd, it's me again. Scrap that, keep it simple. I got drunk, crashed at yours. End of. Ring me when you get this. Well, I took it off somewhere. Hey, you! Here's your Of course, I'm sure. Pale blue. Pale. Turn the shower on without looking. Becky! Ah! Uh, I didn't realise your, your blouse was. Um, not, not a blouse. No. Steve lost his keys. That's right. Oh, yeah. Lost my keys to the pub. In a pub. And, you know, it will, like, take your pick. Our sofa or a park bench for night. <sighs> Free bed and laundry. <laughs> How's that for hospitality? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dirty stop out. I just presumed he'd kicked down here. I warned him not to come home with a skin full. Have we no more bread? Freezer. Freezer. Tried his mobile. Switched off. It was the mother of all rows, but still. I didn't even get a text. You're not worried that he's. Well, that he's been robbed and left in a gutter. It had crossed my mind. But then I thought, it's probably crossed his mind and all, you know, make me sweat. Oh, he's not that right, love. Uh, half a slice of granary. Is that all? And you know what it does to my teeth? Well, there's bacon in the fridge. Gone. Fat's still warm in pan. Ryan. Have cereal. There's no milk. Ryan again. Well, it's not Steve, is it? Sorry. I'll bob out in a bit and get some toasties. Ah. You know, I wouldn't worry, love. He has done this before. Yeah. Not to me, he hasn't. You... It's an air dryer, not a magic wand. Anyway, I thought you need to be getting home. I do. I don't like this. Ah. Uh, thank you, Roy. Host with the most. <laughs> Goodbye. I've said. We don't throw breakfast in on top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry. Funny that. Listen, Jason is a good lad. He's always been a rule of mine. You never kiss and tell. Drunk a bunk up with Steve McDonald. Not about to wallow it to ills. Yeah. Oh, you're all wet. Uh, 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 yeah, I had an accident. Um, um, God. No, no, it's just a quickie. Uh, I'm catching a plane at seven. In the morning? Tomorrow evening. So when will I need to leave to miss the traffic? 
Uh, oh no. Hell no. What? Oh. Three days on last week. Look at me, I'm chain smoking now. I don't believe you, Steve. The word blurt was invented for you. I'll give up when I'm ready. Becky, Becky Granger. Of all the girls and all the bars and all the world. All right, all right. What were you thinking of? You were there. I just spent the night in a police cell, had my shell on my back, the mason's breathing down my neck, I had a GBH charge added to my sheet. I wanted to be a free man. You'll break into Folsom Prison Blues in a minute. Oh, that's right. Take the... Look, you had the cob on with Michelle, and this was the easiest way to get back at it. You can't make me feel any worse than I already do. You want to try that line with Michelle when she finds out? She's not going to find out. Yeah, right. This is Becky Granger we're talking about. Will you stop saying that like she's Myra Hindley or something? She's got form! Or had you forgotten? Don't get me wrong, I like Becky. She's a good laugh, drink you under the table, give you a laugh's penny if she was starving. Plus, she's fit. Extremely fit. So? So she's got a fuse as short as Tyson's and a mouth like a clown's pocket. She knows the score. We've agreed not to say anything. You've just blabbed to me. That's different. You're me mate. You're giving me an alibi. Becky's got mates. No, she hasn't. And a boyfriend with muscles. I could take him. I won't have to if you cover for me. I like Michelle. I like Michelle. You've got a funny way of showing it, kid. So you're not going to say I crashed, are you? I'm a lousy liar. Not even if it's going to save her feelings. What if that's it? Ideal, say him in the shower, answer it. If you don't answer it, she'll probably just pop round. If I don't answer it, she'll think I'm out. Hello? Yeah, I just came. It's for you, Teresa. Looks like I'm not the only one with impeccable taste in one night stands. Oh, uh, plenty of brown sauce on the sausages, please. Guess who that one's for? Steve, yes, he would be hungry, I imagine. Yeah, why is that? I'll clear that table if you want a reshi bunion shell. These will be a minute yet. Half a minute. Grab a mag, console yourself. Hey, you might not have money, but at least you've got taste. <laughs> Accepting, fellas. Hey, you get to follow my grandchild to talk about. I won't hear a word against him. <laughs> Tea, coffee, it's on the house. Oh, you just reminded me. Milk. Want me a minute? No mention of your hospitality. If they're nearly ready, Ken, I could just take them out to uh, save them stewing it warmer. Now, that's what I call five star service. <laughs> it just makes it easier. For whom? And when you're ready, I think um, Bill and Audrey are ready for the bill. Right, coming up. And we're short on teaspoons, by the way. You know, when this works, it's like a well-oiled machine. <sighs> Pardon me for asking, but am I missing something? Well, teaspoons, obviously. And quite possibly a small change. Yeah, ones and twos, if you wouldn't mind doing the honours. Ken, could you just have uh, me two ticks, thank you? Sure. I must say there was a time when she wouldn't draw a breath without checking with me first. We were like twins, more than mother and daughter. And it drove you demented. You've told me. Babysitting him, bank loading him. Well, she's got Ted to do that now. Well, aren't you glad? I'll be dancing all the way to Dean's again. I think it's time you took a cigarette break, don't you? You don't understand what a close family's like. <laughs> I've seen enough of yours to know that my family is close enough. We're not the Waltons, but we're not the Adams family either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're finished, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah smashing. Uh, he's on site, by the way. Fitting waste pipes. He wanted to come, but had me own last of schmooze. Oh. What the boss says goes. That's. <laughs> Tar bill, it's all right. I know when someone's swerving me. No, really. Fair play to him, you know. I sometimes think I'd swerve myself if I had a chance. Invitation to smoke. It's got to be a first. Be brief. Ken's going to the bank with short of copper. I'd have done that for you. Aye. Or can I not be trusted with two pound or two peas? Yeah. 
I understand this dance now. You say something inflammatory, stroke self-pitying, I move in to assure you that you're not that bad, and you walk away, assuaged. And what? Conscience soothed. Well, not this time, not if what I suspect is right. You don't know what went on? No. I only know what you told me. You were drunk. I am. The great get-out-of-jail-free card. Oh, the first stupid thing. And the second? I can't tell you. Because? You don't like lying to people. So the dance goes on. It's easy to be good when you got it sewn up. I'm sorry? A wife who loves you. Nice home, cracking little business. I'm not judging you. Are you sure about that? It's your body, your life, your future. It's the future part that concerns me, perhaps because I don't think it concerns you. you what? Every action brings about a reaction. I wonder how much you think about that. Consider the consequences ever. I, I like to live. I go with the flow. Indeed. It's just sometimes it works and sometimes... Sometimes the tide sweeps you off your feet. If there's any justice, it'll choke you. Charming. What have I done now? It's what you've not done, lad. Been straight with that girl. Becky. Not you and all. Does she slip something in the coffee or something? She's got the old world and his wife on her side. But she hasn't got you. And she thinks it's her fault. It is. Bill, if she'd take a chill pill, stop stalking me, telling me she cares about me, it'd be all right. <sighs> Modern love. You asked. Morning. Is it? I've not got any paracetamol. Me either. <laughs> Don't do hangovers. The ugly one's not in them. No. It becomes a book a cab. No. Only that's our stock in trade. Transportation from A to B. Anything else like recipes, knitting patterns, financial advice, I can't really help you with. I was brushing up in the calf and I found this watch. And your spidey powers told you it belonged to Steve. I recognised it. From? Around. From when he took it off last night in bed. He's blabbed. Two-faced pig. He didn't really have much choice. Oh, creep. Who, who else had been bragging to then? Eileen? Norris? Gazette? He wasn't bragging. <sighs> Cheers. Look, I didn't mean it like that, mate. He's just terrified. He's made a big mistake. Well, that's me. Look, I didn't mean it like that either. What I mean is, you know, you could blow things with Michelle. You could blow things with Jason. No one wants that. It's too late. You've not confessed. The egg. It's dead in water. I'm going to finish it. Don't do that. I thought you really liked him. He's the best bloke I've ever been out with. Oh, you're going to have to rewind here. Or at least say in words a bloke can understand. It's obvious. It's going nowhere. Look, relationships have wobbles. People are tempted. They stray. Sometimes your mistakes can come back and bite you on the bum. Huh? If you're lucky, you learn your lesson quietly and you move on. No. No, if I thought what I had with Jay was solid, and wild horses wouldn't have dragged me into bed with Steve. I don't know how much I like the guy. Becky, trust me. What Michelle and Steve have got is solid. They've been to hell and back together. You might want to think that, but it don't make it true, does it? Forget it, Lloyd. The whole thing's a mess. Say that again. Classic. What? Flowers. 
Expensive ones and all. Sure sign of a guilty conscience. What time do you call this? Uh, before you start. I'll... Uh, pumps. I'll go and clean the pumps. Well, now I know how Leanne felt. No texts. No phone calls. No word of explanation. You could have been lying in the morgue. And before you start, I can always tell when you're lying. So... What happened? How's he going to get out of this one? Find out in half an hour. Uh, these are for you. Guilty conscience. That's what I said. Look, it was stupid. It's childish. And um, I'm really, really sorry. What, locking Dan down the cellar? No. Getting locked up yourself? No, those nasty, horrible things I said to you and then going off in a strop. Well, it's what you did in the strop that bothers me. Because you didn't ring or text. You didn't even get your mates to ring or text. Uh, mate. I only went out with Lloyd, so... So I was sat there wondering if the Masons had sent the boys round. Look, well, I got drunk. Daft drunk. You know, there was no violence or... You know, nothing like that. I was, I was, I was just bladdered. Boring. Banging on to Lloyd about how you're too good for me. Well, I won't argue with you there. I, uh, had to sleep on his couch, me back's killing. Bless. Still, you got a nice new shirt out of it, eh? This? Uh, uh this is Lloyd's. Hmm. And does he want it back? Well, yeah. Then I'd stop sweating if I were you. No, for me? Oh, not such a bad lad after all. Funny. Take it, you're off to the cafe. Break a leg. He all gets all a break. Mm, break his heart. No, I'm just going to tell her straight. You're a cracking girl. I do want to see you. Just two nights a week, Max. That it? Well, take it or leave it, man. Direct approach. Yeah, balls in her court, then. Mm. She might hit you with them flowers. You said to be honest. Oh, I did, I did. And you're a great catch. Well, I think so. Decent trade, no ties. All my own teeth. What could possibly go wrong? So, what needs doing? The bitter was off. <clears throat> I changed it. I thought you'd seen enough of that cellar for one week. Cheers. I'm sorry for everything. You said some pretty nasty things. Well, to be fair, we both twisted the knife. Oh. Uh, but it was me, mostly. I was a child. It was spy because you were talking sense. If I go to prison... I know it was a stupid thing to do, but I didn't mean to flipping kill him. It's just going to wreck so many lives. Why can't you see that? Well, you're going to have to make him. I've tried. Dan and Harry. And if I keep pushing, they're probably going to get me done for harassment and all. Well, <clears throat> why don't you take Amy with you? Oh, I'm not taking her. That way, Dan can see for himself who he's hurting and things stay civilised. Well, you'd think that, wouldn't you? But somebody who will happily lie to get me sent down isn't going to watch his words in front of my daughter. Harry might. I'll try again. When? Later on. I'd better pull my weight round here first. Oh, well, don't leave it too late. It's not just Amy you'd be gutted to lose you.
the others here. Yeah. Yes, Jason. He's back here. Oh, I have just missed her. She gone for lunch, Roy? Uh, she she's gone certainly. I'm not sure where. Do I have to take those? No, uh, no, sir. Uh, what time's she back, Roy? What well, one can never tell. <laughs> You think I messed her around? Really, oh, come on, Ra, with... you know she's liking your face all the time. She just scared me off a bit. I like her, Ra, you know, she's got more about her than most girls you meet. She's highly uh, complex. Well, she might be in the Rovers, eh? I'm not sure. I, I suspect not the Rovers. Why did she say out? What? Nothing in particular. Ken, did she mention anything to you? Not a sausage. Uh, possibly the precinct. Looking for you. Snap. For you. Yeah, I've not been very nice to you ever. Snap. Look, Becky, I should have been more fun. Save your breath, JR, save your follow. We're finished. You are? It was great while it lasted, but I were too keen. And you weren't keen enough. Well, this is what I wanted to talk I to smothered you. Smothered a kitten once by accident. Not that same expression in your eyes. You know, I knew you were hiding from me, your spinal toe rack. I really like you, Becky. You don't lie to people you really like. Yeah, well, I do. Thing is, you want me to back off. Chillax. <sighs> I can't. Well, no, I could, but then I feel like I am my best behaviour and I'm not much gob at that. Well, this is why I like you. Not 24-7, you don't. Well, no one's together 24-7. Not even in magazines, you know, it's not realistic, is it, eh? Picture yourself, 30 years from now. Sat with your missus in pub, counting bubbles in your glass because you don't say to each other. No chance. But well, that's where being realistic gets you, not me. So, let's stay mates, eh? And thanks for everything, gorgeous. It's been a blast. Hey, you ain't getting these flowers back. <laughs> well, you haven't heard what I was going to say yet. Jason, I'm basically a show-off, and if I ain't got your attention, I'll do bad things till I do. Oh, don't put yourself down. You got off lightly, though. You know it. I'm a nightmare. You only lie to people you don't care about, apparently. You said it was a good catch. I lied, because I do care. Oh, welcome to Heartbreak Hotel. I'm not heartbroken. Oh, but your pride's taken a bit of a knock, though, hasn't it? Becky, Biggie. I don't get it. She was stalking me last week, phoning me, feeding me. She practically moved in. What's changed? Exactly, excelled himself, has he? Mm. You are not kidding. Do you believe him? Yeah, I think. Well, it sounds like the jury's out to me. Oh, if he's a dog, you'd have to kick him. <laughs> Still, what do I know about men and the price of fish? This is a woman who went into complete meltdown this morning. You? How come? Tell Lacey fit. Trash your desk the lot. Now, did they put milk in your coffee? A whole day's work gone like that off the computer. Well, did you not save it? Oh, if another person asked me that. All right, sorry. This is where you'll be missing Liam, I suppose. Yeah, well, now I'm just in here, aren't I? Twiddling my thumbs till your Tom comes to fix it for us. Uh, Tom? Mm. Our Sheila's Tom? Mm. <laughs> With his reputation for timekeeping, I predict another meltdown. Mm. Actually, it was very healing. It beats colonic irrigation any day. Oh. Mm-mm. <laughs> gears, two panics of cider, Tasha. Glass and a glass. Hey, now you are wasted in undies. Should be in advertising. Thought you were. In it. Plastic fantastic. Hey, all God's own work, my love. I know it must be hard to hear. Even harder to believe. Oh. Uh, shall I take your stuff over for you? Oh, don't you just love it when they're in the doghouse? Nothing's too much trouble. This way. <laughs> right, that's 4.40, please, Becky. Meeting someone. Drowning my sorrows. It's thirsty work dumping your boyfriend. Ah, oh, Jason. I'm sorry about that. Are you okay? 
I'll let you know once these are kicked in. Oh, that was a nine on the vialometer. I know, it never used to be like that. Maybe it's the wheelchair. It's got evil powers. Tony, he's always been a snotty get. Ooh, you weren't seeing that when you was guzzling his champagne at Crimbo. So transparent. And we mm. fell for it. Well, never mind, cos hot gossip on to new. Liam's coming back tomorrow, so normal service will be resumed, but don't tell anybody that I told you. And uh, what exactly is your definition of gossip, Salah? Oh, she's led a very sheltered life, haven't you, Sal? I knew that yesterday. Got a text from Maria. <laughs> well, hello. <gasps> it's the cute cousin. Oh, yeah, from the wedding. Hello, stranger. Mm. Mwah. Steve. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, not me. My night in shining oh. armour. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ah, good, thanks. Cheers. You are a lifesaver. She hasn't noticed yet. The watch is the last of your problems. I know. I'm struggling here. I look one way and there's Michelle, all lovely and trusting. I look the other and there's Becky. All lovely and bonkers. Every time she orders a pint, I think the old sky's gonna fall in. Well, you better get a grip here, Miss, because if I know Becky, she's going to be ordering an awful lot of cider. She's going to be ordering an awful lot of cabs. In fact, if I know Becky, she's going to adopt a child and enrol it into Amy's nursery. What? She's going to hound you, mate. She's not that bad. That's what I thought before. Before what? Well, yesterday she's swearing on dying love for Jason. One night with you. One drunken night. And she's dumping our Jace, the nicest bloke she's ever been out with. Why? Because she's got her sights set on you. No. Yes. It'll just be guilt. Do you think Becky does guilt? Are you not winding me up? I know what she's capable of. What am I going to do? I don't know. But if you want to hold on to Michelle, you better do it quick. One full English breakfast. All the treatments. Mm -hmm. Blimey. I'd have been happy with Cocoa Pops. It's Sunday. Besides, the bacon is grilled, the eggs are poached, so you don't have to worry about calories. You saying I'm fat? No, of course not. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm just winding you up. It's great. Top up. OK. Can you give it a rest? What? The whole Stepford wife bit's creeping me out. Can a bloke not make his girlfriend a nice breakfast every now and again? Look, Steve. I know why you're doing this, but it's not me you should be crawling to, it's Dan. <sighs> I've tried apologising. Right, well, try harder. Why, are you worried who's going to make your breakfast when I'm banged up? No, don't even joke about that. Just go and see him, please. Can't stand having this hanging over us. Right, I'll see you later. There's me offering to do him a roast tonight. So we got a fresh goes for a chicken. I think it'd be simple, right? I'm guessing not. All these nice big chickens there. Two ninety nine. Yes, their value range. A euphemism for battery, of course. But we're not allowed them, are we? Oh, no. No. His Majesty there picks up one of your so-called organics. Guess how much? No, go on, go on. I don't know, fiver? You were lucky. Twelve quid. For a flaming chicken! You are missing the point. Organic chickens live their lives in comfortable, spacious surroundings. More than I ever have. Twelve quid. It's two packs of bags, that. And uh, there's your change. Hiya. All right. You weren't going to be a pub later, Lloyd? Probably. Thought you were cooking raw your roast. Oh, well, I got sick of arguing with a minute and just grabbed some sausages. Organic. Tinned. <laughs> I'll see ya. How you been? Fine. Um, Roy, can you do this? I need to get some tables cleared. Uh, certainly, yes. Um. All right, kid. Just saw Becky cross the road. Oh, please don't. Am I still working here? Of course, yeah. Dan. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Oh, you know, not bad after being locked down your cellar all night and nearly dying. If I'd known he was hurt... Tell that to his spleen. Oh, no, you can't, can he? Because he hasn't got one now, has he? Do you actually need a spleen? Or is it a bit like tonsils? 
You know the way we were winding each other up? It just got out of hand. Oh, right. So you locked him in the cellar. Hilarious. Yeah, all this stuff about him begging for an ambulance, though. Do you honestly think Steve would have left him down there if that was true? You wouldn't. Of course I wouldn't. Well, not according to Dan. This is dead serious. <laughs> Michelle, you'd have to tell me that. Leanne, how long have you known me? Ten years? Look me in the eye and tell me that you think I'd deliberately try and out Dan. Or anybody. Look, this has got nothing to do with me. Can't you have a word, this police statement? Uh, no, I can't. You two started this stupid peeing contest. You two can sort it out. Did you hear that? I'll go down there later, I swear. Beg like a dog if I have to. Hello. Hi. Uh, hello. Yeah, two uh, takeaway coffees, please. We're taking advantage of the weather and giving Eccles a nice long walk. Oh, I'll do it. How was Hayley? Oh, very good. Very, very well. Very well. Yeah, Eccles and I have some work to do. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
Yeah, and I've got some really good news for him, and I can't pass it on, do you know what I mean? Are you pregnant? Why do I look it? No. I, I, I'll take care of this, Becky, if, if you check the toilet paper in the ladies' lavatory. Oh, check it's feeling all right, what? That it doesn't need replacing. I can't do it. There you are. Where have you been? I've been trying to get hold of you. Why's your answer phone not switched on? What? Well, the message just keeps saying the mobile you were calling is switched off. Is it? Are you having an affair or something? <laughs> I've had a fair view. Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, guess where Dan's going this morning? Fuengarola Polly to do a sandwich course in applied mathematics. <laughs> to the police station to change his story. It's going to be all right. Yep. Yep. Yep, but I always say yep. <laughs> Since when? Sensei, what's wrong with you? Well, nothing. It just sounds a bit... Have you heard <laughs> slacking me words? Oh, you want to nip that in the bud, mate? Go on, you were saying. Yeah, so there might be light at the end of the tunnel. Well, I won't put anything past Dan. Hmm. Well, at least he doesn't say yup. I think I handled that quite well. Yep. Becky, do, do, do you think you could uh, help? I don't know, you tell me. Are we sulking? No, we are not. I'm fuming. No, scrap that. I'm fumigating. You were out of order not letting me serve Michelle. Well, Dodge Man. Makes me feel uncomfortable. No, Roy! Tight pants make you feel uncomfortable. Snagging bras make you feel uncomfortable. My life shouldn't. Look, look, I know I've been a bad lass and that, but, you know, it's pointless drawing attention to it. Every time I face this, you'll think something's going on and it's not. It was one night of madness. No, no, in fact, it was like ten minutes of madness. Don't fret over it. Life's too short. Yeah? It's, it's just me. I'm programmed to screw up. Big time. Yes, <clears throat> love, what can I get you? Bit of a weird one, mate, isn't it? Oh, uh, you know. Yeah. Listen, if you ever want to... Oh, damn. I'm all right, mate. Come on, go to our Andes. Yeah? Yeah, my head's mashed. Nothing worse than lying to your missus, mate, is it? They seem to know things without you even telling them. Women are weird like that. Well, I've got her across the road giving me evils every five minutes. I can't be doing with it. Hey, are you allowed to go abroad when the police are like... Well, you know, if they give me the all clear. Look, you can tell me to keep your big nose out of this, mate, but... This is not the solution, is it? It's because there is no solution. This is running away. Wouldn't you? Once upon a time. Well, now is that time. Now I try and be a bit more grown up. Face the rubbish life has to throw at you. I don't want to be grown up. I want to be 14. Stone, you wish. It was just a laugh when you were 14. Try to kiss all the girls behind the disco. Or a little bit more. Behind the bingo. I know it's running away, mate, but... What else can I do? 